Player development is an integral part of Cowboy football's offseason program. For the past three years, OSU has brought in guest speakers to visit with the Pokes about topics that help them develop not only as players, but also as people. Four speakers made their way to Stillwater, each bringing with them a unique perspective and presentation. The Chicago Bears team chaplain was up first. Jonathan Wilkins took the time to break down time, letter by letter. We're talking talent, insight, materials, and exposure. Wilkins emphasized the importance of maximizing what each player has around him, on and off the field. Uh, to have a platform to really reflect with them and help them think through not only where they are, but where they want to go based on my own personal experience. It's just a phenomenal opportunity. Anytime I get it, um, I try to pay forward what I received from my mentors. Next up was eight-year NFL veteran Terrell Fletcher. The former running back turned pastor and motivational speaker told the Pokes that because of the position they are in, they are influential, whether they want to be or not. He talked about being a leader not only on the field, but also in your own life. Well, we basically want those guys to understand that, that leadership is not something that is regulated to the captains of the football team, to the guy that has his name on the placard. But every person is a leader in their own right. If you have a sphere of influence, you are called to be a leader. And I wanted to challenge them about a leader's mindset. We call that leader a champion today. So I wanted to talk to them about a champion's mindset. What is the, how do you have to fixate your mind in order to be a champion or a leader every day of your life so that you can impact life? The biggest thing I got from this was kind of to believe in yourself and don't have that self-doubt. Don't feel entitled, you know, just, yeah, a big-time program, Oklahoma State, but there's, it's more to it than that. Being a good person, you know, all around, believing in yourself on and off the field. A familiar face made his way back to Boone Pickens Stadium to talk dollars and cents. Former Cowboy cornerback Eve Batoba came armed with books and a budget. The Miami Dolphins coordinator of player engagement spoke about the importance of financial literacy. He even had the guys make their very own budgets. You know, we don't have uh, guys like that come in and talk to us about finance, and so the way we think, we just want to go, we get money, we want to go spend it. So when he comes in, tells us that it's important, so like we take another like look at things and realize that, yeah, man, like this is important to us. You know, there's, there's a missing conversation, I feel like. A lot of these guys, whenever they, as they're growing up, the, the, the conversation about financial literacy just isn't happening uh, as much as you would like. So at the level that I'm at right now, we have a whole bunch of players who come in as rookies, and if they don't have those financial principles established, what you end up finding out is, unfortunately, the statistic says 16% of players end up going broke within 12 years of uh, retiring. So the more that we can prevent that, the better. And I think that reaching them while they're still in college, before they ever get to the pros, the more likely they are to actually make good and sound financial decisions. The speaker series wrapped up with a deep dive into the business of football with salary cap and player contract analyst Jimmy Hazel. He broke down everything from NFL contracts to what NFL scouts are looking for character-wise. Hazel talked about how the business of football and the business of life go hand in hand. Really, the, the goal of my presentation was to really use the business of football as a means to show them kind of the characteristics that will help them succeed in life. And it's easy to use football just because it's something that's meaningful to them. And when they start to see the, the dollar signs that I talk about in the, in the business of football, it gets their attention. But it allows me to talk about character and credibility and finding your leverage, finding your skill set, because those are the things that lead to those dollars in the NFL, but it's also what's going to lead to success in, in, in the real world. I feel like it really talked to us not just only about football but about life and about like leverages outside of football and like like you said like everybody's not gonna make it to the league there's a lot of people that want to but there's a lot of people that play college football that are not gonna make it so it kind of prepares you of real life and even when you get in the league of finding leverage of how much you're worth so you can use that as leverage to know how important you are and not settle for less. All four speakers brought something different to the table using their platform to help make Oklahoma State student athletes better players and better people. The objective of this is to balance the person and the player. And we've been doing it for three years now, and it's just a microcosm of what we do all year round. And I think it's important for them to hear from other people outside of the staff. It gives them the opportunity to understand and learn, and they accept it a little bit better when they hear people that have already done it and accomplished it.